Welcome to another video in the SAP S4HANA Credit Management Playlist. In the video today, I will share a very good public resource that you can use to learn credit management for SAP S4HANA. I personally used this resource to learn when I started and I will also be using it to structure the rest of this playlist. There is very good information available on credit management on the SAP Help Library. This information is public, you don't even need to create a user ID to be able to see it and I will share the link in the description. Once you get to this page, you will find two sources to learn credit management for SAP S4HANA. The first one is public and available to everyone, this is the SAP Help Library. The second one is the SAP Best Practice Library. This is available to everyone also, but there are some details that you need an S user to be able to see. I already created another video explaining what is SAP Best Practice. I will leave you a link here so you can check it. Now for the public information, you can, you can go to the SAP Help Library. And here we have three things. We have SAP S4HANA Cloud, SAP S4HANA, and we have SAP ERP. We are interested in SAP S4HANA, so I will click here. This will take us to the full library on SAP S4HANA Credit Management. And I recommend you read everything here before you look for information anywhere else. This has very detailed information. It's much better than the SAP Help Library that was available for SAP ERP transactions. This really has a lot of details. It even has some step-by-step -step instructions on how to do the different procedures, like how to create a business partner. And also there is a link that will open another library of the configuration steps that includes different configuration steps for credit management in SAP S4HANA. This is very useful and you really need to read it before you look for information anywhere else. I have also created my own configuration manual and study notes that I will be sharing with the elite members of the channel. And I will refer to the structure of this library in this playlist. So I will try to follow the same sequence. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to check the full playlist here or click here to see the next video. You can also check other recommended videos up there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.